Well, thanks again for tuning in. Today, I'm gonna to take you on one of my favorite bike rides. I call it the Three Bridges Bike Trail. It's the Bay Trail around the San Francisco Bay. The three bridges we cross are the Bay Bridge, the Golden Gate, and the Richmond Bridge. We start the ride in Emeryville, and here are a few places that you can park. This is where I parked at Point Emery. It seemed to be a pretty safe place to park. We definitely don't drive our nice cars and we don't leave anything in the car that can be stolen because there's a lot of break-ins in the Bay Area. And we're off. We're leaving Point Emery, headed to Emeryville. That's Ikea in the far background. We're gonna ride and fast forward, otherwise this is gonna be a terribly long video. We have a nice isolated bike path and we're headed under all the freeway interchanges just before the Bay Bridge. Starting the Bay Trail, heading to the Bay Bridge. It's a little cold, but pretty much every day is cold in San Francisco. Even in the summer, I'd recommend bringing a light jacket. Uh, the Golden Gate Bridge is pretty cold and windy when you're crossing it. If you look over the left side of the bridge, you can see what's left of the old bridge, and it's now a fishing pier. This section of the trail going up the Bay Bridge is about a one and a half percent grade, so you climb about 160 feet over three miles. The trail takes you around a loop under the Bay Bridge, and this is going to be the steepest part of the trail coming up. You might have to walk your bike up this section, it's pretty steep. And this is probably the steepest section going downhill. Definitely want to watch your speed, and you're going to turn right at the bottom of the hill. Don't forget to enjoy the view. I can get a nice view of the Bay Bridge from this waterfront area just before the ferry terminal. We've gone about seven miles, so if you want to plan around the ferry schedule, I would start the ride about an hour before the ferry leaves. Sometimes the Wi-Fi is a little spotty here, so I like to bring $5 cash for the ferry just in case it doesn't work. Or you can scan this QR code from home and pay in advance. We're taking the 1015 ferry, so it's right on time. This is one of my favorite places to take a picture. It always feels like you're starting an adventure bringing your bike onto a ferry boat. There's some bungee cords against the railing that you strap your bike to to make sure they don't fall over. With our bike strapped, we're gonna head upstairs and enjoy the view. Couldn't ask for a better day, actually. Yeah, yeah. Considering it was raining this morning. On a clear day, this is what the ferry terminal looks like. Unfortunately, it was kind of rainy the day that we chose the bike today. If you want your bike tracking apps to be as accurate as possible, like Strava, you might want to pause it during this ferry ride. So here's your reminder to unpause your Strava. Also note, you might get a little salt spray from the ferry ride on your bike. There are lots of good food options in the ferry building. Definitely take a stroll through. This is definitely one of the most expensive places to buy groceries, but there's a lot of interesting food here. There's lots of cheese, olives, chocolate, salami, wine, bread, empanadas. Just about anything you need for a nice picnic lunch. One of my favorite food stops is Peach's Patties. They make little Jamaican meat pies. Gott's Roadside is also a great place to get some mushroom or tomato soup, a burger, fries, and a milkshake. We're going to take Embarcadero down to Pier 39. We're passing by the Exploratorium. There's tons of hands-on interactive science exhibits for kids. You could really spend all day here. I love that San Francisco's restored all of their old trolley cars. Here we're passing through Pier 39. I always think of Pier 39 as a place where tourists come to buy souvenirs. There are some bike rental shops here and the ferry to Alcatraz leaves from here as well. We're on our way to Fisherman's Wharf. We're passing a small version of the Stinkin' Rose. It's a garlic restaurant. It's one of our favorite restaurants in North Beach. And every time we go, we order the frying pan with 40 cloves. 
Our next stop is Fisherman's Wharf, and there's a really cool museum called Museum de Mecanique. It's full of old Nickelodeons and self-playing pianos, kind of old arcade games. It's definitely worth checking out. Out on Pier 45, there's also the USS Pampanino. It's a submarine that you can tour. Definitely don't leave your bike unattended outside of any of these locations, even if it's locked. There's a big bike theft problem in San Francisco. Next stop is Ghirardelli Square. They're pretty strict about the walking your bike rule, so definitely get off and walk your bike through this area. You can pop into the Ghirardelli Chocolate Factory and get some chocolate or maybe an ice cream sundae. If you look out, you can see Alcatraz and probably some people swimming out in the ocean. Coming up is another steep hill, climbing up to Fort Mason. It's an old military base on top of the hill with almost a 360 degree view of the Bay Area. If you come during Fleet Week, you can watch the air show from this hill and see the airplanes flying all around the bay. This is a view from the top. This is a beautiful green space where people are walking their dogs and hiking. It's just a cool place to people watch. Next stop at the bottom of the hill is the marina. Also a good place for people watching. We're riding on the main bike path, but there is also a trail that kind of meanders along the coast. We're at Chrissy Field. This used to be a landing strip during World War II. Across the street to our left is the Palace of Fine Arts, definitely worth checking out. If you follow the coast trail, you can get a nice view of the Golden Gate Bridge from below. From here, it's another steep climb up to the start of the Golden Gate Bridge. This sign makes it look like bicycles should sometimes turn left, but you always want to go straight. Bicycles aren't allowed on the east side of the bridge. Bikes like to really fly on the bridge, so keep an eye out for fast-moving bikes. It's also pretty windy and cold, so I would definitely bring a jacket, even if it's in the summer. From here you keep heading west and we're going to take this trail under the Golden Gate Bridge and end up in Sausalito. You have a nice long downhill to coast. And now you have another hill to climb. And we're dropping down into Sausalito. It's beautiful out here. I'll give you a couple of restaurant recommendations here. First up is Taste of Rome. Usually get a tiramisu and a coffee. If you want something a little higher end, you can go to Salito's Crab House and Prime Rib. Our usual stop is the joinery. It's a quick burger and fries kind of place with outdoor seating where we can keep an eye on our bikes. I think this is also one of the bike rental stops for lunch, so they have valet bike parking here as well. We're now 20 miles into our bike ride, or about 10 miles from the ferry building. You've seen most of the scenic touristy stuff, so if you want to turn around, you can take the ferry from Sausalito back to Pier 41. If you're not sure if you want to continue or not, you can just go another 10 miles, and there's another ferry terminal at Larkspur that will take you back to the ferry building. Let's continue our bike tour, leaving Sausalito and on our way to Mill Valley. It was pouring rain the day I made this video, so here are some photos showing what the trail looks like. You're basically biking on isolated bike paths through wetlands. It's one of my favorite parts of this Bay Trail loop.
We hop on this short pedestrian bridge and on the other side is the ferry terminal. If you want to take the ferry back to the ferry building, this is your stop. In a few moments, we're going to pass San Quentin Prison. It's built on a waterfront property. I'm sure lots of millionaires would love to live here. On the way to the Richmond Bridge, it's going to feel like you're biking on the freeway, because you are. Make sure you take this last exit and cross the bridge on the left-hand side. There's a nice pedestrian barrier, keeping you safe from cars. The climb to the top of the bridge is 2 miles, and you're climbing about 200 feet. That's about a 3% grade. On a clear day, you have a pretty nice view from the bridge. Once you exit the bridge, there's about five miles of biking through an industrial part of the city, and then we reach the Richmond Ferry Terminal. We're now at the 40 mile mark. This ferry will take you back to the ferry building, but don't take it just yet. There's some cool things to see around here. Just to the left of the ferry terminal is the Ford Assembly Plant, where they built warships during World War II. It's also really nice to stand here and look out at the Bay Bridge and just see how far you've biked. Around the corner is the Rosie the Riveter Museum. The museum talks about how the government incentivized women to come to work at the factory. They are offered equal pay for equal work, a free one-way ticket from anywhere in the U.S., and free daycare for their children. Most of the workers here were assembling warships at the Ford Assembly Plant. Entrance to the museum is free. This is the area around the Richmond Marina. There's a restaurant that we like called An. It's a Vietnamese place. Be sure to get the Vietnamese coffee creme brulee and garlic noodles. There's a little area out front of the restaurant where you can view the water and view your parked bikes outside. Now it's time to get back on the bike and finish this ride. From here on out, the bike trail follows the coastline all the way back to Emeryville where we started the ride. Since it's kind of gloomy and gray when I shot the video, I'll show you some pictures here of what it looks like when it's nice and sunny. On a clear day, you can clearly see the whole skyline of San Francisco, the Bay Bridge, and the Golden Gate Bridge. Again, you're on an isolated bike path, segregated from all the cars, just biking through the wetlands. It's a beautiful section of trail. Now back to our gloomy, rainy video. We're in the final stretches here, passing in Golden Gate Fields. It's a horse race track. And just a few more miles back to the car, and here are some pictures of what it looks like on a sunny day. If you'd like to download this map onto your GPS, I have my Strava map and a commute route linked down below. Well, for the most part, we stayed pretty dry. 